it's Lee from ColouringQueen.net and today I want to show you my little Japanese postcard book from Miki Takai. Now you can see it up against a Joanna Basford colouring book and see the sizing of it there. Now it's got a beautiful dust jacket on it and inside there is this light blue printing on the glossy dust card cover. And inside we've got other books by Mickey Takai. Now at the beginning I'll just show you the coloured components of it that are printed on double pages before we get to the actual postcards. So we've got the little copyright page, introduction, the thumbnails of the postcards that are inside which have a coloured version and a version for you to colour in yourself. At the beginning we've got some tips on how to use your pencils in the book and that's the last page in the double page printing. Now we're on to the gorgeous postcards. So I'll just zoom in. So we've got a perforated line down the middle so that you can easily tear out your gorgeous postcard and on the left side again perforated you can use this colored picture as inspiration to color the line up or you could even give it away or frame it do whatever you want but you have two versions a colored version and a version for you to cut out now on the back I'm not going to show you all of it but on the back of each one are colored elements from the postcard and line art elements for you to color and that's different for all of the postcards in the book they've all got some different design on them that goes with the picture so now we've got snow white gorgeous and i think this is rapunzel having a letdown of her hair thumbelina And some pictures are printed landscape and some are printed portrait style. They're beautiful colours. She does such great pastel work. But you don't have to do it pastel. You can do it whatever way you fancy. And we've got Alice, of course. My beautiful Alice in Wonderland. I love it when Alice wears a blue dress. Originally it was a yellow one, but I think the blue one's better. Goldilocks and one better. Wizard of Oz. Aren't these pictures beautiful? I couldn't bear to part with the coloured ones, but I'm always like that. I only buy postcard books, I think, so I can keep them all. <laughs> and the card on this is beautiful and heavy. It's very thick and it's a white and the liner is a dull black. These are great if you don't have a lot of time and you just want to do something that won't take as long. And due to the thicker card, you might be able to even try subtly to see how well watercolours work on it. I haven't tried it, but it is quite thick card. So if you are discreet, you might be able to use that without peeling the paper. And then that's it. I'll just quickly flip through on the back so that you can see the coloured designs on the back. So that's it for our gorgeous Japanese postcard colouring book by Miki Takai based on gorgeous fairy tales. So that's it from me. Until next time, stay safe and happy colouring.